Leah is the oldest child of four. She is very, very active. She um, loves to dance. She loves to play. She loves to ski. We have had a lot of fun watching her grow up. And then that changed very, very suddenly. It's about a year ago. Leah and her little sister went down in the basement to play. Leah called up to me and said, Mom, I hurt my back. And she said to me, Mom, um, my fingers feel very tingly. And then the tingliness kind of spread up her arms and to different parts of her body. And she tried to stand up. And at that point, she fell down to the ground. And she said, Mom, I can't walk. And I picked up Leah and I carried her to the car because she couldn't walk, her body was limp. So we got checked into the emergency room and they couldn't find anything to explain why she couldn't move. In about 24 hours, she went from playing softball and running around to being a quadriplegic. During the fast last year, a lot of people in, throughout the church had taken Leah on to pray for her. I was blown away by that. Leah needed healing. There was only one person who could heal her, and that was Jesus. And I went to the worship night, and I went up front, and I got on my knees with a lot of other people, and I begged God that night. And I begged him a lot of other nights, but I begged him that night in front of a lot of people to heal her, to heal my little girl. Pastor Tim came and he he read from the Bible and he read from from Mark, um, specifically Mark 5:41. Talitha Kum, little girl, get up, and that became the prayer we prayed for Leah that um, that she would get up, she would get up out of her hospital bed and she would walk out of the ICU and she would go back to life. I, I said to God, this will not be wasted. This will not be wasted. I didn't have any words left. I had nothing. I had been praying for weeks for her to be healed. And with each little victory, we rejoiced in the miracle that was happening. It was overwhelming because it happened so fast. In a three month time, she went from being a quadriplegic to back to school doing some of the things that you would normally do and she keeps working to get better. We're just glad she's with us. I mean, our family would not be complete if she wasn't here. There's no words I can speak that express the gratitude I have in my heart for him. He saved her life, he raised her up, she stood up, she walked, she's still here, she's part of our life, and she's a living testament, she's a walking testament to the power of the Almighty God.